Quite a few people have asked me what these plants are that are behind me in some of my segments. This is actually a type of ginger, believe it or not. This is an ornamental ginger. And so far as I know, there's nothing on it you can eat. It's a lot like the spiral gingers I used to have growing at the edge of my uh, backyard patio in Florida. But now uh, they just grow back here really easily. They have these pretty white flowers. Insects seem to like them. It's kind of just a cool looking, cool looking plant, but so far as I know, they don't have any use per se other than as a pollinator plant. No medicinal or edible uses, but they're pretty for all that. I'm just kind of wandering around outside this evening. Gonna go check on the chickens and shut them in in a minute. There are guavas falling from the trees. I love guavas. They're really good. Had one for breakfast today with my bacon. Check out my pumpkin growing in between the ladder here. Kind of in trouble. It's gonna jam in there and it's gonna look crazy like one of those watermelons that the Japanese pack into little boxes so they stack square. Those are really cool. I should do that with some of the pumpkins and just for fun. Let's go see if we have any birds. They were actually across the road. I went for a hike up the mountain with Rachel earlier today and the birds were across the road in the neighbor's cocoa farm just helping themselves. It's like they have no concept of private property. You really need to kind of get lectured. Let's see. Yep, the rooster's not here. He uh, he was with them. I don't know where he's going at night, but he's not staying with the ladies. He's kind of a jerk. Now this one here, as you can st see, she's still setting. And tomorrow is day 21. My wife marked it on the calendar. And I asked Justin Rhodes, I said, Justin, um, is it possible that my rooster is sterile? I'm starting to wonder about him because he acts like a hen. I mean, he doesn't jump on them like you would expect a rooster to do. He doesn't really have much hotspot. He doesn't have any guts. I mean, I, I don't even think he lifts, bro. So, um, you know, I haven't, I haven't ever seen him jump on one of the hens once. And that's normally, I mean, my old rooster was like a monster. I mean, a hen walked by and he jumped on it. You could probably throw your shoe and he'd jump on it. But this rooster, I don't know. So I've wondered if she may be sitting on eggs that are not fertile. And we're going to find out in the next week. Justin said uh, it's possible that he's sneaking around when we're not looking and jumping the ladies. Also, uh, possibly, he says it might take a few more days for the eggs to hatch than we expect. Um, Rachel checked on them earlier today uh, because the hen had gotten up for a moment and she looked at the eggs and the eggs were not moving around or peeping or anything like they would when we were uh, raising our own. So, I don't know. We'll find out. Hopefully this week we've got some chicks to share with you guys. And I don't know where that rooster is. I mean, he comes back. He comes under our window at like 2 in the morning. And seriously, he just was under our window. I don't know where he is. Crowing at two in the morning. Sugarcane's looking good. These are my seedling jackfruit. And they had their tops bitten off, as I showed you in a previous video, but they are growing new tops. So, didn't kill them, which is good. Still have no idea what cut their tops off. People said, no, it's not a cutworm. No, it's probably not a cutworm because cutworms tend to cut stuff off at the ground level. It was like a grazing animal, but we've got fences here and I haven't seen any grazing animals. I mean, they're always on the other side of the fence. I've never seen any in the fence or inside of our area here. But I don't know, so long as they grow, I need to come out here and mulch around them and throw them some compost to get them going. But the little ring of stones is just so we don't accidentally run them over with a string trimmer. Just kind of gives us a little marker. Delineate them from the weeds. The jungle grows fast here. 
Look at these beautiful, beautiful coconuts here in the setting sun. See the little coconuts up in there near the top? Those are the baby ones. They were blooming a month or two ago. And now all these down here, pretty much quite a few of them are ready to be pulled. We could harvest them now. Some of the ones up there are not. There's quite a bit of variety in coconuts, which I didn't realize. If we come around here to the other tree. Hey, these are all green. They go directly from green to brown without any intermediary golden stage. It's fascinating. It's variation in coconuts. You know, you don't realize how much genetic variation there is. And by the way, they pave paradise and they put up a parking lot. Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what the genetic variation is until it's gone? By the way, the other day I was sitting in my office writing and Rachel said, you've got to see the birds that are playing in the gutter. So I went outside and I filmed the birds playing in the gutter. And check them out. These birds are called Annie, A-N-I. They're in the cuckoo family and sometimes when I'm out string trimming the yard and that sort of thing, they follow me around looking for bugs and lizards and worms or whatever else they eat. Really crazy looking guys, but I was kind of fortunate to uh, have a moment where I could see them and actually shoot some footage so you guys can see them too. All right, pop quiz. Is this a male papaya or a female papaya? Let's take a look at the blooms. Does anybody know? Let me know in the comments. I know, so don't tell me that I don't know, because I know, I did a video on it. But do you know, male or female papaya? It's important. Thanks for watching as I just sort of wandered around the yard and did a stream of consciousness video. Still haven't found the rooster. <sighs> Who knows? I don't know. I don't know what goes through his brain. He's a little bird brain. It's a beautiful rooster, but something ain't right up there. Something's wrong right beneath the comb, you know what I mean? Anyhow, be sure to like, subscribe, and Oh, I got to tell you guys, I am going to be on the Mother Earth News Homegrown Food Summit with Marjorie Wildcraft. I got invited to be there, and I am doing a presentation on better gardening through experimentation. And I'll put a link down below this video where you can sign up and watch that for free. They do it for like 24 hours, and I'm on with Justin Rhodes and Jeff Lawton and all kinds of other people that are probably much more talented than I am, but only half as funny. So... You know, you totally need to go sign up and do this thing. And the way it works is, I give them the video, they put the video up just one day, and then it becomes part of the, like the entire presentation. So you can go see it for free by signing up for their newsletter thing, and then later they'll give you an offer like, do you want to buy all 35 of these amazing presentations for the low, low price of like $100 or whatever it costs, I don't know what it costs. Um, and then so, so later on they give you the little push. And if you buy it and you use my link to sign up, then I make a little bit of a commission. And if you buy it through somebody else's link, I don't make any commission. But that's fine because whoever's link you buy it through, they're gonna make a commission. So if you like Justin Rhodes better than you like me, go over to Justin Rhodes' thing and where he says, hey guys, guess what? I got to be part of the Mother Earth News homegrown food summit and talking about my amazing chickens okay go sign up on his link and then like you're given justin rhodes a little bit of you know a little bit of flash so um but anyhow just make sure you go sign up and do it because it's going to be a lot of fun and there's some really good people on there and i, I always like watching the other videos this is the third or fourth time i've gotten to do something like this and it's always fun my video is like 45 minutes long and i'm wandering around sharing all kinds of crazy stuff and showing you some things that you don't see on my youtube channel i mean nothing like too terrible but yeah well, you just have to sign up and see anyhow be sure to like and subscribe Catch me on the web at thesurvivalgardener.com. Go sign up for the Mother Earth News Homegrown Food Summit down below. Or home No, it's the Mother Earth News Homesteading Summit. The Homegrown Food Summit was the one they did last year. But yeah, 
I'm not very good at keeping track of that sort of thing. Too busy gardening. I'll catch you next time. And until then, may your thumbs always be green. Why don't you tell me where your friends of Rooster is? Why don't you tell me, little ones? You know we have ways of making you talk.